Mike Shake, you hate you in the building. Turn that on vibrant, shit. Turn on vibrant, you I'm doing an interview at 93.1 right now. And when I get done with that, I'll call you back, okay? Hey man, let me put my hater blockers on. <laughs> that's what that's what they Sounds call good. them. Sounds good. Sounds good, man. Thank hater you. Hater blockers, you all hating right. it all goes well. Savannah, wake your ass up. You already know what it is. Number one station for hip hop and R and B. I myself have two. Wonderful gentleman in the studio with me today. It's the You Hating Campaign. You Hating. Fellas, how y'all doing today? Doing awesome. Very happy to be here, Calvin. Okay, now, uh, from starting with you, Lance, I would like for y'all to introduce yourselves and where you're from. Okay, my name is Lance Silver. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been in Savannah for about six years. Okay. My name is Derek Mallow. I work for the Boy Scouts of America, and I'm uh, from Savannah, a native of Savannah. Okay, big ups, big ups to the Boy Scouts and everything. Now, uh, Lance, you are starting this You Hating campaign. Tell us a little bit more about that. What exactly is the You Hating campaign? Because I'm starting to see it everywhere. It's a campaign to neutralize haters. Okay. And, you know, just like, just like you're popular, Calvin, that's what we're interested in, is making not hating popular. Okay. Just like cars. Just like clothes, sports right. teams, right. music. Now, what, 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 how have y'all gone about it? Because when people say neutralize haters, you're going you're gonna to have to elaborate that because that, that can mean what? Go take out a hater, shoot a hater. How exactly yeah. are yeah. we stopping yeah. hate yeah. in the future right now? Yeah. You know what? What we do is just by creating awareness. We're absolutely an organization about love. Okay. okay. And the question mark is what's critical. We just, we feel like there just needs to be. And I'll ask you this question, Calvin. How, how much better would the world be if a lot more people asked themselves the question, am I hating? Am I hating? If a lot of people ask themselves if that? If a lot of people ask themselves the that. The world right. would probably still be the same. If they stop hating now, then it would be pretty much differently. But they, I think a lot of these haters know they haters, but they don't care. So I like that y'all are trying to find a way to stop the hate rather than just acknowledge it. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's exactly right. And, 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 and all of your people... All your R&B artists and, and hip hop artists have already done a good job pre-promoting for us. Okay, and they've right. gotten the they've certainly gotten the, the message out there that there's a lot of hating. Uh -huh. uh, one thing that I'll tell you that really we're all we all have a little bit of hater in us. Right. Okay. And the truth is nobody wants to consider themselves to be a hater or a bully. And that's what's so beautiful. So when we go into like even the Scott Learning Center, right. Even when when Amari DJ AAA in the house when he when he went over there, um, he asked these kids. How many of you want to make it popular, and we love those kids, by the right. way, but how many of you want to make it popular not to hate? Every kid raised their hand. Right. Okay? Then what you do is you start breaking down the behavior, mm -hmm. okay, of talking behind people's back, jealousy, right. et cetera, et right. cetera. And, right. and then they start to understand, so that neutralizes a hater. Right. Okay? And I like that. I yeah. love that. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. what we need right yeah. now. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay. That's exactly right. So now you understand what I'm saying. If people are asking themselves that question, deep down, they don't really want to be considered a hater. They don't want to consider themselves a hater. Right. So when you ask yourself, am I hating? Am I a hater? You hating with the question mark. That makes an impact. Now, maybe not for everybody. Right. You know, there's always those people that for that time and place, they may not care. But when they really start to understand everything involved, people really do want to have a good life. Right, right. You and know? I understand that. that that's, a, that's an important thing to remember. Now, my next question is to you, Mr. Derek. Um, how exactly did you get introduced to the You Hating campaign? And, and what made that become something that you wanted to be a part of? I was actually sitting down at dinner with some of my colleagues from the Boy Scouts. We are at... Uh, jalapenos on Whitmarsh Island and Lance ran across me. This guy is always promoting you hating and he stopped and he passed out a bunch of cards to my colleagues that were sitting down at the table and we all looked, we thought it was a scam. We said, uh -huh. you know, this might be some hoax. This guy passing our cards to me, right, you hating. Right, right. So uh, we went from there, we took it to the office, we put it on the bulletin board and we were just kind of throwing at it all day, you know. Right. Where I was debating with my other team of individuals that I work with, who's going to call? You going to call or am I going to call? We're going to send an email, what you want to do. So first thing, we just went on YouTube and looked at some of the videos. Uh -huh. uh, the videos confirmed it. Then I called him. I met with, with Lance. He's a high-energy, dynamic individual. Right. And that's right. what we need. We're working with the kids we work with in, in the city. I said, uh, it's something that we need to roll out with the, with the Boy Scout program that we have. We work with 
all of the housing projects and all the community centers in Savannah. We've got a Boy Scout program there. Right, right. Getting the message out to the young ones. Right, but our platform is we teach them character building and how to be better young men, but being better young men is not their focus right now. They want to be rappers. Right. They want to be hip-hop stars. They want to be everything they see on TV. business. It looks like something I want to get into right now myself, you know? You know, um, but they got to understand the logistics of some of that stuff. A lot of that right. stuff is rented, you know, it's used for video shoots. Right. Everything you see in the video isn't true, and that's what Lance Organization helps provide. Like my man DJ AAA in the back, he uh, comes and brings a real life perspective to let them know all the glitter and glamour comes with hard work, perseverance, and dedication. Exactly. So exactly. Hopefully, we can teach them that with our partnership going on. Is there a lot of hating going on in the Boy Scouts right yeah, now? Yeah, it's a lot Keep of hating in the Boy Scouts, Keep man. You know, it's a lot of hating. It's a lot of hating. Why they hating in the Boy Scouts, man? Man, if you wear a uniform and tuck your shirt in, man, is you know, it's, it's haters. You know, the Boy Scouts. And the Boy Scouts. Not with, and with the the Scouts and other people in the community that hate on these children. They will hate on a Boy Scout. They will hate on a Boy Scout That's for a wearing a uniform. Shame. You're, you're not kidding. You're man, I had a kid at uh, Kate Holmes, man. A kid got robbed going to Wendy's, man, as he was participating in my, my Boy Scout program. They thought he had something to have, man. He was working for summer camp. And, and they tried to <laughs> rob the man going to Wendy's, and he didn't have no money. How he he had no some, money on He him. was broke. How you rob a broke person? Man. So those tried. are the kids we try to reach, and, man. And, and they just hating. They saw <laughs> him participate with our program. They saw us come in our big white Boy Scout van. You know, they see my friend and his... Uh, his uh, Mitsubishi Galan, and he's got beat in his car, his car sitting on rims, and they're wondering, how does he do this? Right. He works for the Boy Scouts. It's not, how does he do it? Right. They just connect to people in the community. It's a lot of things that, that go on that are just, that, that that need to be brought to people's attention. So th this is a big thing. I know we got AAA in the back. Tri let me get a quick word with you. Uh, for those of you that don't know, he he was the youngest in charge, DJ A A A. Now he's on the You Hating campaign. What's going on, Trip? Good evening, Mr. Hendrick. He's calling me missing like I'm old or something. You Hating University is, is a new thing, man. We're trying to make it popular not to hate. Good evening, everyone. Hope all is well. Ha hope your holidays went well. But uh, it's a new year, new things. Right. So uh, just get down with the campaign, www.youhating.com. Log on, sign in, get your hate not on. Not on. I mean, everybody talks about hating. And Do the and, opposite and, of hating. And, and the videos, the music videos and whatnot, speaking of that, you know, so we just, nobody wants to be a hater. So we only time you're looking down at somebody is when you're pulling them up. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Now, my next question is to Lance. I know you got DJ AAA in here. I know you got Derek. From Boy Scouts, what other local, well-known people have you gotten on this campaign to help reach uh, a lot of these young people out here? Well, one of the one of the things that we've been very successful with, thankfully, and we're extremely appreciative of, is the actual city of Savannah and the Parks and Recreation Services. Okay. And uh, we are uh, participating with uh, football, mm -hmm. basketball, and baseball, as well as cheerleading, uh -huh. and we're providing. Uh, Youth Player of the Week Awards Okay. and Cheerleader of the Week Awards. So you actually go out to the events and hand out these for the young people? Yeah, that's part of what we do and a lot of times too we will distribute these certificates at the beginning of the season uh -huh. and we come in and we do photo shops, we do different very, different things to recognize the winners, Right. Um, you know, putting them on our site, uh, introducing them to you. Right. Uh, Savannah State Radio may do a little thing on 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 not on the winners and so forth, the uh, coaches. Right. And uh, in, in the whole idea and everything there is to recognize these kids for their leadership both on and off the field. Okay. And, and also, if you think about youth sports, you think about the intensity that exists there. Mm -hmm. You know, we get all that that we, we get all that aggression and everything out, whether you're a fan or a player, out on the field right. while the game's being played. Right. At the end of the game, when it's all over, we're all friends. And anti-hate. Okay? Exactly. And anti-hate. That's exactly. a big thing to remember. Exactly. And we've we've done some things already with them that have been incredible, where we've gotten the winner and loser of the same get in the same game to take pictures together after the game. I wouldn't surprise me if that hasn't happened in the history of Savannah before. Uh -huh. Just knowing the mentality and everything that, that if, uh, and the competitive spirit and everything that goes on out there. Right. So they're actually, the parents and everybody else are realizing, hey, we're one community. And, uh, and it's, so it's been extremely effective and we look forward to, to expanding this throughout the country. And we're really, as I told you during our first interview, we're using Savannah as a pilot program mm -hmm. to be able to show the rest of the world what can be done. Okay. Now, okay. Ha have you all even tried to expand outside of Savannah right now, or is this mainly local as of right now? You know, it's it, the, the, there's been 
such support, overwhelming support in the city of Savannah uh -huh. that that is a, this is our founding city. I right. mean, we are in, in pretty much every city throughout the country right now. We've got a big movement in Chicago. We've got a big movement in Atlanta. Right. We've got a big movement down in Florida. We've got a very, very big movement in, in New Orleans wow. uh, that's, that's pushing this campaign. Everybody's for this. Nobody wants to be a hater. Right. I know you out there, you don't want to be one. Please they don't want to support. Look yourself in the mirror and say, I don't want to hate no more. You, no, no, you don't. You hating.com. Check out the Facebook page. Log on. Let's stop these problems. Let's stop these ridiculous, foolish, unnecessary deaths that are happening almost every day in the city. It's got to end. It's got to end. Too many hurt people. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, and, and right now is the time. Right now is the time. Better than ever. We got more with Lance. You hating? Coming right back. Keep it locked right here.